Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about what is a web API. At first, what is web API? A web API is an API over the web which can be accessed using the HTTP protocol. So any function that you can call using the HTTP protocol remotely, it is called a web API. This web API can be written using PHP, ASB, JSB, or any server-side programming language. Look at this graph. What's the purpose of the web API? Let's suppose that we have an Android app, and we need this Android app to connect to a database on the server or remote database. The Android app cannot access this database directly. In this case, we should use the web API to be an intermediate level or middle layer between your Android app and the database. So in this case, the Android app will connect to the PHP file here or the web API, and this PHP file will connect to the database, then will retrieve the data to the PHP file, and again, the PHP file will return the data to your Android app. So the web API, is a very important intermediate between your apps and the remote database or the database server. Then, when you get the data from the database, the data will not be in a textual format or a normal format, but there is a special format that can the Android app read. This format it is called JSON. So a JSON or JavaScript object notation is a lightweight data interchange format. The JSON can be divided into JSON object and JSON array. The JSON, the JSON object is used to retrieve a data about one element, for example, data about one employee, one book, one student, while JSON array is data about a set of elements, for example, set of employees, set of books, and so on. This is the format of JSON object. As you see here, the JSON object is start with curly bracket open and the close, early, uh, the close bracket also used for ending this JSON object. Inside this JSON object, there is two attributes, which is name and age. The value of the name is Ali, while the value of the age is 30. So this is called a JSON object. You can imagine that the name as a column in a table and Ali as data inside this table. But in JSON array, the JSON array is consists of set of JSON objects. Like this example, we have two employees, for example, the first one named Ali and age 30, then comma, and another employee with name Omar and age 27. So this is called a JSON array. So in this video, we have talked about what is Web API, what is JSON, what is JSON object, and what is JSON array. In the next videos, we are going to see how can we implement all those concepts using PHP and Android. See you next video.